So in this video, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons to owning reptiles as pets. So if you're thinking about getting your first exotic pet, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics. And on this channel, we make videos about reptiles and amphibians and how to take care of them. So if you guys are interested, consider subscribing. So at one point in time, owning a snake or a pet lizard was actually considered kind of out of the ordinary. But in today's time, having a pet leopard gecko or maybe even a bearded dragon seems to be a little bit more mainstream. So if you're considering getting a reptile as your first pet, I've put together a list of pros and cons on why I think these guys make great pets. So reason number one, reptiles actually don't really require a lot of space. Usually most reptiles can be kept in maybe a 20 gallon enclosure, which you can probably get at your local pet store and other places like that. But it, that's really gonna depend on the species. Uh, for instance, if you have a boa constrictor or something like that, uh, eventually these snakes can get up to 10 feet long and they're gonna need an enclosure to probably match that at some point in their lives. So you have to definitely make sure that you're ready for that. Another pretty cool fact that I think makes reptiles and amphibians good pets is the fact that they're hypoallergenic, meaning that they don't have pet dander or they won't cause allergic reactions or any kind of allergies or anything like that. So if you're looking for a low commitment pet, these guys also fit the category. They don't need or crave human attention, except for when you're probably gonna try to feed them. Which for most reptiles is normally once a week, uh, depending on the species, if you have a snake, but amphibians can probably be fed two to three times a week. Some reptiles and amphibians are strictly display pets, like the dart frog and my day gecko. These guys do not like being handled and they both have very sensitive skin, so they're not advised to handle at all, and unless you're probably just gonna move them from a container to another location or something like that. Lastly, most reptiles live for a pretty long time, uh, I believe there's some species of snakes out there that can live up to 20, 30 years, while also there are species of turtles out there that can live up to over 100 years old. So these are definitely going to be pets that you can have for a long time, which can be a plus and a minus depending on what you're looking for in an animal. Because technically if you have something that lives 100 years old, it's going to definitely outlive you. And you got to make sure that somebody's going to be around to actually take care of it after you're gone. So. That's another thing to actually consider when you're getting these pets. One of the biggest cons of keeping reptiles is going to be that there's not going to be a lot of veterinarians and other people specialize in actually taking care of these guys, which can be a very detrimental thing in the care of your animal in case something does happen when you have to take them there for an emergency or to get checked up on because animals do tend to get sick from time to time and a lot of times you're not going to be able to treat this at home and you need to take it to a vet. So depending on what species of animal that you're planning on getting, I would definitely do some research beforehand and see if you can have a specialized vet near your vicinity or maybe in another city close by that you can go to if you need to. Another con to keeping reptiles would be that you have to create an environment specialized just for that specific species of animal, whichever you decide to keep. Uh, because they all come from different environments and they thrive the best when you try to replicate their natural environment inside of their actual enclosure. So the initial setup could be a little costly in the beginning, needing heat lamps, heat pads, substrate, plants, decor, hides, water bowls, and many other small little nuances that you don't need to actually keep your animal safe and thriving. The enclosures can get kind of expensive as well. I have this Exoterra here. Exoterras make a very good enclosure in my opinion, but they can be a little bit pricey. This one retails for probably around 220, 230 bucks, I believe. I'll put a link in the description uh, in Amazon where you can get that from. If you guys wanna go check that out. Another con to keeping reptiles is these guys enjoy their food pretty fresh. Uh, like my snake that I have right here, my ball python, I have to get them rodents to feed and luckily I have these guys on frozen thawed rodents and they'll eat those pretty fine. But most times some snakes only eat live rodents and that's a very controversial subject for a lot of people. Then the frogs that I have, they eat crickets two to three times a week so you have to make sure you keep those and that's another thing you have to have in your house and the crickets make a lot of noise so you have to be okay with that. And a whole lot of other small little things like that, that a lot of people don't actually get to know until after you get your reptiles. But see, there are a few species of reptiles that are vegetarian, like there are turtles or tortoises that eat a lot of vegetables and things like that. 
And also my day gecko, he eats a gecko diet food that you can get from uh, pretty much any pet store. And I'll put a picture of that over here for you guys. And you can check that out if you want to. So overall, I think reptiles make really good pets. And I would highly recommend getting one for pretty much anybody. Uh, depending on what you're into, some people are more into snakes, some people are more into geckos, lizards, or other things like that. I would say just do your research and check it out. So if you enjoyed this video and you're getting substance, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit a like and leave a comment and tell me how you like the whole video. And if you want to see some more, I'll post some more videos over on the left side of the screen over here so you guys can go check that out. And I appreciate you guys for watching.